Hello everyone, and this is Shadow Death Blade 93. Oh, let me see something. There we go. I enabled the cheats in case if I'm having problems. So here we are. I am Shadow Death Blade 93, and I am playing and starting. Unreal 2 The Awakening. So Unreal 2 The Awakening is pretty much the sequel to Unreal Gold, also known as Unreal. So I'm going to be going for normal mode. The hardest difficulty is Unreal. Most levels I'm going to play without the cheats, unless if I get frustrated, so... Epic Games presents... Oh my god, look at that. It looks so cool. Unreal 2, The Awakening. I wish there was an Unreal game that is more story based again like Unreal and Unreal 2 The Awakening but there hasn't been a story based Unreal since those two these two games the Unreal Tournament series mm, sort of but they're not really based on story Though they do have a single player mode altogether, I just prefer mostly the the story based Unreal games, which is the uh, original Unreal that has returned to Nepal and this game. But the Unreal tournament games are still great. I haven't played Unreal Championship one and two at all sadly I really want to personally out of all these games I think I'm gonna do well Let me just look up when this game came out. And there's me. Commander Hawkins, sir. Good to see you, Dalton. I'll get right to the point. Your request for reinstatement in the Marines has been denied. Again. I know you're disappointed, but we can try again in six months. Can I bucket up the line? I spoke with General Drexler personally. It was no go. Damn. When you return to your ship, you'll have a new pilot. He's a Hexcore alien named Naban. We got him in an officer exchange program. He's some kind of muckety-muck on his home planet, and the brass want him kept out of harm's way. You've got the quietest patrol, so you're it. I'm getting mighty tired of babysitting the ass end of nowhere. The Colonial Authority isn't so bad, John. We don't see as much action as the Marines, but our tradition of service is just as strong. Save it for the recruits, sir. I know the score. Stow it, Dalton. We've got a new refresher course set up in the basement. Either give it a run or get back to your ship. Dismissed. Do you want to take the training run or get back to your ship? Tutorial. I could use a refresher. All right. Dismissed. Okay, here's the release date for Unreal 2 The Awakening. It was released in February 3rd, 2003, and it runs the Unreal Engine 2, the Unreal Unreal 2 engine. Which pretty much makes sense, because Epic Games was making really high quality of their engine 
since the uh, since the first game of Unreal, <gasps> and then the Unreal Tournament games. <clears throat> um, let me just have this audio turned down just a bit. But this game is a part of my heart, and I love every detail of this game. I've been playing Unreal for a long time, and it's been going well. I wish, I I do wish that some people will actually enjoy this game, like they did in the old days of Unreal. Safe journey, John. Why, oh, yes. But you're gonna love the weapons. Jesus, the Kai. Glad you could drop by, Marshal. Glad for you to drop by, Marshal. game will get harder of each time, so, yeah. Well, thank you for the salute. Finally playing Unreal 2, The Awakening, on my channel. This is going to be great, actually. Since I haven't played it on my channel for the first time, I do have the non-Steam version in here. Um, where is it at, though? I have it in the Unreal Anthology case that has pretty much four Unreal games together. Unreal, Unreal 2, Unreal Tournament, and Unreal Tournament 2004. I haven't played any other Unreal game, but I will eventually. Because Unreal was pretty much the first uh, FPS I played in my lifetime. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this. How you doing, Marshal? I heard you'd be here. Let me reboot the system. Hello, buddy. Name's Raph. I'll take you through the program. Good old Raph. All set. Go on in. Hello again, and welcome to the Avalon Training Center. The course is lined with holo projectors, so I'll be with you all the way. Now wait a second while I take a scan. <gasps> Sensors indicate you're wearing XAF power armor. Let me dig up those specs. Ah, here they are. Yeah. Not bad. The XAF series isn't the toughest battle armor available, but it's pretty damn versatile. Underwater capable, rechargeable shields, plasma heads-up display. Score one for the good old Terran Colonial Authority. Let's take a look at your HUD. Huh? Health and huh? shield indicators are in the upper left. Ammo indicators are upper right. The top counts down your current clip. Underneath is the amount you have in reserve. Available weapons show up down the right. Your suit also scans for important objects like switches and panels, even people. Come over and look at me to activate the use reticle, then hit your use control. Using someone will get their attention so you can talk to them. Sometimes your suit will give you numbered options of things to say. Go ahead, pick a number. <laughs> 
Why am I talking to a hologram? Who knows? My mother talks to a cat. Let's keep moving. Next up is agility training. Go use the button next to the exit. Why am I talking to a hologram? Who knows? My mother talks to a cat. Course, you'll hear me through your suit's radio. It's a good unit with excellent range that even extends off planet if the signal's strong enough. Stand by while I configure the course for your suit. <laughs> Let's start with something simple. Jump over these blocks. Not bad, but not every jump is so easy. If you jump straight up and don't stop, you'll drag yourself onto that ledge. It's called mantling. Give it a try. Alright, now crouch down and crawl under these blocks. And don't worry, I won't let them drop any further. <laughs> uh, smart Great. ass. Go through that door. It's time for the good stuff. Weapons. I like this already. Let's start with every rookie's first gun. The dispersion pistol. I love it. Go ahead. Grab it. Not a very realistic target. Sorry, it's been an epic wait for the tech upgrade. Take a couple practice shots. The dispersion system doesn't pack a whole lot of punch, but it's always there for you because it never runs out of ammo. Give the alternative fire a try. It builds up a charge and then releases a bigger blast. Now let me just tell you guys, those uh, grids right there of what they're showing you are pretty much the enemies from the first game of Unreal. So I like how they did that for target practice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He never knew what hit him. Enough of the pop gun, let's take a look at a real weapon. Ah. Oh. The combat assault rifle is a marshal's best friend. Load it up with ammo and mow down this dangerous desperado. Good old... The car's primary fire mode is fully though. automatic, and it goes through the... rounds of uranium shards like candy. While you're firing, watch the upper right of your HUD to see the ammo drain from the current clip. Always try to find a quiet moment to reload before combat. Otherwise, you may find yourself caught having to reload in the middle of a firefight. The car's alt fire is a concentrated bolt of five shards that breaks up on impact and will huh? even back up the walls. Ricochet a bolt against the wall and hit the target. Catch on quick. This next weapon isn't standard issue, but what the hell? Sometimes you just gotta have fun. Yeah, and this weapon is good too in uh, some fighting. No weapon is more versatile and dangerous than the grenade launcher. It holds up to six different types of ammo, and each has radically different uses. The standard is your basic fragmentation grenade. Use a few to blast away at these little guys. Notice that tapping your primary fire makes the grenades explode on contact. If you're aiming on the run, hit something near your enemy and he'll feel it. Holding down the trigger on the primary fire engages the timing mechanism so you can bounce the grenades around some before they explode. Use your alt fire to switch between grenade types. The crosshair on your HUD will tell you which one is chambered. I've given you some incendiary grenades, so load them up and prepare for a show. Wow, 
What, no other weapon? You're a natural, Dalton. Hey, I need to test some new features I just loaded. How about you and I go one on one? You friggin' bet! Here's how it works. I play as a holo and my weapons are holographic too. But they'll register on your armor as real hits. If you die, you get back with full health and shields, but I score a point. <clears throat> if I die, you get a point. Whoever gets the five first, wins. If you get a kill, be sure to run over my holo corpse so your power armor absorbs any remaining energy and applies it to your shields. If you want to bail at any time, just push the button next to the exit and go on through. One last word of advice. Load up on ammo before you go in. Anytime you're ready. Bring it, Dalton. Maybe next time. Good enough. Come on through the exit. That was fun. He almost Recharge got me. Recharge your health and shields. Just step inside each station and they'll work automatically. That's pretty cool. I like that. That was great. Can't remember when I've had such a blast. You know, if I put two flags in there, I could sell tickets, maybe get someone to sponsor a tournament. Those guys over at Leandre have more money than brains. Hmm. Good luck, Marshal. Go keep the frontier safe. Oh, yeah. Looks like my friend Ruler is playing Final Fantasy XV on Windows mode on the Windows version. Be right back. Okay. Now, what's fun about this game is pretty much anything, actually. 
I played a very long time ago. And I never stopped playing it until all the way to the end of the game. Stand by. Initializing. First Officer Ida returning command of the ship to you, sir. Ship's engineer Isaac is standing by on the upper deck, and ship's pilot Nabon has the con. What's with all the ranks and titles? Prolonged exposure to brass usually makes you revert to your primitive military state. Just trying to make you feel at home, sir. What's our status? While you were docking, we received a distress call from the Alara Star System. We're already en route. Would you like to take an inspection tour of the ship and meet our new pilot, or go right to the briefing room for the mission? We've got plenty of time. Let's take a look around. Okay. Let's begin right here in the drop room. We need a new airlock unit, but the Quartermaster on Avalon didn't have any, as usual. We've ordered a new one for our next visit. I'll wait for you outside the briefing room. Okay, I'll be right back. Anyway, I'm back. We took advantage of the layover to upgrade the holo projector in the briefing room. I'll wait here while you take a look around. All right. There's the weapons. Seen enough? I'll go. Welcome back, boss. You want to inspect the upper deck? Might as well. What do you got? Your quarters haven't been disturbed. We've put Naban in the other port cabin, but his gear is still in the hold, so there's nothing to see yet. Let's look at the starboard berths instead. Hide his cabin. Spotless as usual, I'm sure. I'll wait here. Yep. Chess. <laughs> Moving on. I think I skipped the, the idiots inspection. And supplies still haven't sent up any spare transducers. How they expect me to keep this bucket of bolts airborne is beyond me. I've redecorated my cabin. Early provincial. Hope you like it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Next up is the bridge. Aye, 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 sir. I tell you, being on the butt end of the food chain really sucks. If we were a marine ship, we wouldn't have to wait around for parts. I'm making a new art form out of scrounging. Now, I guess the biggest change to the bridge is our new pilot. I'll let you introduce yourself. By the way, I picked up some new ordnance on Avalon. Let's go over it after Ida's briefing. See ya. Huh? Nabon! Hello, Marshal, sir. 
I am saluting you. It is many pleasures to be buttling with you aboard this fine ship. Buttling? Buttling. Waiting upon. No. Serving. I am seeing many pleasures serving with you. And I am saluting you again. No need to salute, Naban. It's an informal ship. Why don't you just settle in here and I'll catch up with you later. Aye, 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 sir. Settling in is now my top priorities. Ah, I, I, I love Navon. He's such a not a forgettable character for this series. <clears throat> now, this is pretty much the weapons of for loadouts here. So, yeah. What we got here is the duster the dispersion pistol and the grenade launcher so I hope you guys will enjoy this game as much as possible ready for the briefing fire when ready we're headed for sanctuary the fifth planet in the Alara system it's an Earth-style world with a dense jungle covering. It's currently uninhabited except for a Leandri mining operation. This is gonna be fun. A few hours ago, I received the following distress call. Mayday, Mayday! This is the Leandri station Lima 6 on Sanctuary. We're in trouble down here. The facility has been overrun by hostile aliens. We don't know what the hell they are or where they came from. Multiple casualties, please assist. That's it. We don't know who is attacking them or why. Let's look at the main base in the holotank. <gasps> the Leandri complex has two components. The ore processing unit grinds up the rocks and extracts precious minerals. Unfortunately, we don't have any blueprints of the interior. They've cleared away the jungle and separated the power plant from the main facility by a few hundred yards. This huge generator provides juice for the heavy rock crushing equipment. Here is the nearest entrance from your drop point. Good luck down there. Isaac should be waiting across the hall to do your weapons loadout. If not, you'll probably find him in his cabin sleeping one off. I'll be right here if you have any further questions. I liberated a grenade launcher and a few frag grenades from a depot in Avalon. You want to take a look? Or how about we brush up on your other weapons? Let's have a look. The M406 grenade launcher has slots for six different grenade types. Tapping your primary fire lobs out a grenade that explodes on contact. Holding the trigger a little longer engages the timing mechanism so you can bounce them around some. Secondary fire chambers the next grenade type if you've got any. If you like, I can tell you about the individual grenades. Take your pick. How about the pistol? The T-13 pop gun is your standard law enforcement sidearm. Doesn't need ammo. Recharges from a quantum pack in the handle. Primary fire is a slow-moving energy pulse. Alt fire charges up a stronger pulse until you release it. A dependable fallback weapon, but not much use in a crowd. Anything else? Let me see the car. The M32 Duster fires depleted uranium shards that don't have shells, but build up a nasty dust that gets ejected between clips. Primary fire spits out rounds at a very high automatic rate. Alt fire is a cluster of five shards packed together to form a single slower moving slug. The slug breaks apart when it hits a wall, so if you're good, you can even shoot around corners. Very effective overall. You can hose down an area with primary fire or deliver a single lethal punch with the alt fire. What'll it be? Tell me about the frag grenade. Enormous explosive power and needle-sharp carbo-steel fragments. Absolutely lethal in close quarters. 
Any others? See you later. Oh boy. <laughs> now, be right back. Now we're back. Um, so yeah. I had to do the touring for the last part on, um, for the weapons, uh, weapons, uh, the loadout room for the, uh, weapons, so yeah, here we are. First area of the game. Hey, Brad. How bad is the scratch from Betsy? Yeah. Remember now, search and rescue. No rough stuff. Yes, Mother. Look, I'm not kidding. I don't want to have to come down there and save your sorry ass. Relax, I'm sure the natives are friendly. Uh, definitely not friendly. Where's Betsy at? Under my bed? She's always under there. Because of that pink pillow. Pink body pillow that is under there. Ooh. Oh my. Sanctuary. Well then. Look at that! No! Here they come!
watching you on the security network. Is the system two-way? Can you hear me? Don't bother talking back. The system's only one way. I won't hear you. Glad we cleared that up. Boy, am I glad to see you. TCA, wow! I wasn't sure anyone got my distress call. I'm Danny Miller, level one t technician. I hope you're here to rescue me, because there's no way I'm getting out on my own. Everyone I see on the security cameras is dead. I'm barricaded in a security office over in the generator building. You'll have to go through the collection plant to get here, though. Hmm. The main route is blocked. Hold on, I'll open the hatches to the runoff basin. It's a short swim. There's a camera on the other side, so I'll see you when you come up. Nice. Huh? Jesus, John. Are we ever that green? Checking for ammo. Skulls. That's always a good sign. If I always wanted more ammo, I, I can always just do it. Do the cheats here. Uh, I want to try it legitimately. How's your suit pressure? Fine. You ever heard the expression, blood is thicker than water? Well, it's true. <laughs> Man. Man, these guys are nasty. Get away from the camera, you space monkey freaks! Leave it alone! And of course, these guys have blue blood. Like I said, they can either have two attacks or one attack. No. No. Miller here. You're a mess. And <laughs> blue is definitely not your color. These creatures showed up right after we pulled this alien thing up from the mine. It's really old, like a relic or something. Drill it on it too. I've got it here with me. Wait a minute. Oh God. Yes, grenade launcher. More ammo for it. Careful. 
lot of that stuff is unstable. A stray shot might set it off. Thanks for the tip. Freaking moron. Yips. God, there is. Thank you, game. Thank you. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Well, this is a uh, next hit. A loading sequence. Yay! My favorite. I know eventually that Ray will actually try to play Unreal. S someday. He just hasn't gotten the chance to yet. I think I got myself stuck. I'm not sure. do. more enemy encounters here in a minute. Of which enemy? I gotta tell ya. I'm just gonna surprise you. I thought I'd lost. Next up is the drainage room. It's chock full of those creatures, but there's no other way. Good luck. Yeah, I need all the luck I can get. I can see you.
everywhere. Which I had a freaking shotgun. Here's a happy return of an old enemy encounter from the series. Oh boy. Hi, buddy! Oh no, don't do that, please. Do that. Do that. Do that. This is like a road road. Right? Yep. Scars are back. Hey, Ida, does your guidebook list this as a vacation spot for Scar? He's probably checking up on Azazarian grunts. I don't like this, John. Huh? <gasps> yep, we got the Azarians and the Scar. Now, oh, he sinks. Right, this door. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. <laughs> Having that scar to appear out of nowhere is nerve wracking. So, nothing happened, right? <laughs> That's a relief. Guess I was worried for nothing. I think what I'm glad about this game, it shows a lot of detail and many things about the game. <clears throat> but there are still weapons that I miss throughout the series. That, the Razor Jack, was great. But. At least this game would make it up for it, regardless. Stand by, ready, initializing. Yes. The exit is up ahead. I can't 
track you outside, but I'll pick you up again when you get close to the generator building. See you soon, sir. Where's this area from? Uh-oh. Dead, yes, he is. Got him. I hate these Zarians so bloody much. Thank you. The scars are back. That's a uh, poor armored scar. Okay. Be right back, everyone. Anyway, we're back, everybody. How's it going? Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up, big boy! Damn, right in the nuts. So, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Primity! Scars are no joke, people. They never are. Wait. Okay, that's normal water. Okay. I think I see ammo up there. What the? Ray, I'm being chased. Something in these FPS games. You did. Thank you. The ammo. Hey, buddy, you stuck? <laughs> uh, that's funny. This game is slow. So, um, what you doing, Ray? the area yet. Stay put! Damn kid's gonna get himself killed. Yep. Emergency shutdown. 
in three, two, one. Heavily armored scar? Yeah. Complete. Pull out. Negative. Your job's done. The fighting scar isn't in the mission profile. That kid just died to keep the artifact from the scar. You think I'm gonna just walk away? Get me down there. Forget it. I'm going, whether you help me or not. Damn. Go to the control room and power up the generator. And you better hope they kill you, because if they don't, I will. Damn, Dalton. This keeps on getting better and better. Alien life form is down there. I hear some typing. Freaking Zarians. They laugh like bloody hyenas. Okay, I better use the shock lance for that for that big guy. It'll zap him, but that's the best I can do. Scar. Man, these guys are tough. Okay, that's it, buddy. I'm coming for you. Get Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die. I'm dying now. Sanary grenade when I need one, damn it. I'm in panic. <laughs> right? It's not easy. Now I'm at six elf. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is so fun. I will freaking shoot your nutsack. Hit you, no matter what, buddy. No, no, no. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> uh, fuck my life. Uh, shield recharge? I don't need a shield recharge. I need. Ooh, there's health. Okay, thank you. Thank you, game. I love you. <sighs> fuck. There are two ways to reach. There are three ways to recharge your shields. One, you stand over a dead body that has a blue 
sparkling feature on them if they're if they have armor on or you pick up those uh those one uh, look like a hexagon looking shape shield pickups and then there's the recharge stations so yeah there's no other way to recharge your health though so there's two ways the health recharge and the well the pickups anyways and then these Oh yay, my least favorite part in the game! If you're going down there, be careful. I decrypted a scar intercept that says they want that thing pretty bad. They look like a fucking blue monkey. <laughs> uh. Oh, sorry. How you doing? Die. So, um, yeah. How's it going, Ray? I'm trying not to die as it is. Clad at back up 100 health. I'm not trying to embarrass myself during this playthrough. Oh god, I forgot. Uh, I have to fall down there. This is not gonna be easy. This place is a mind fuck. If I die, I'm gonna fucking punch myself. In the gut. Whoa. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm unharmed. It looks like it. Good. Nah, I had the artifact. Look at you, big fuck. You are big. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. You are mad. You are mad. Fuck! He killed me! Don't do anything to me, please! Damn! <laughs> Quick load, please! Uh... <laughs> well then, that's my first death. Well, my first death in, uh, in Unreal 2. My god, that was brutal. You fucking blasted me with those fucking whatever those are. Um, I forgot. Like I said before, all Scar have two attacks. And that guy is a big fucker. He's the uh, heavy Scar. Reason why he, he doesn't run, he fucking walks because he's wearing heavy armor. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Ah! Fuck! Ow, my legs! Okay, big fucker. How you doing? Oh fuck! 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 
Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Please, please, please die. 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 Please die. Oh, thank God. Oh. Got the artifact, whatever it is. Looks alien. Really old. I called the HQ and they went ape. The speedship of Marines is all the way to collect it. Get to the surface and run them down till they get there. Well, I killed the I killed the scar, so I should be happy about that. My God, annoying level, but it's still fun. Zombie Ralph. Nice work, Marshal. You should have been a Marine. Don't get me started. That the artifact? Doesn't look like much. Must be important to someone, though. Okay. We'll take it from here. Take care flying out. The area is still plenty hot. Will do. Semper Fi. Uh, the, f the suit that Dalton wears, John Dalton wears in Unreal 2 The Awakening, is pretty fucking good. It's underwater capable. So he can talk underwater with his helmet on, which is Atlanta awesome. Calling peacekeeper. I'm sending you back, John. What's up, Ida? We got more trouble down there. Anyway. No, you have to head back down to Sanctuary in this area, because the Marines' ship got shot down by Scar. Because they don't want them to leave with the artifact. In this level, you'll see all kinds of life forms in this in this planet. There's sea goats. Uh, I don't remember other life forms on the planet, just the sea goats, because um, for some reason. <laughs> the marine pals were shot down before they reached escape velocity. Their ship crashed in a forest on the far side of the planet. Damn. They've still got the artifact. They've set up a perimeter and will hold position until you arrive. We can't fly you in there. Have to go in on foot. They've lit beacons to guide you to the crash site. The indigenous creature shouldn't give you any trouble, but somebody shot that ship down. Whoever did is probably still around. Go get the Marines and move to a clearing big enough to send the Atlantis down. I'll see you soon. So, everyone, Roger. If your thoughts about this game is amazing. Um, I'm s I'm going to be doing a full series of this game anyways, because I want to get this game done, and it's not as long as Unreal, as Al Unreal 1, but it's still decent long. <clears throat> be right back so I can organize the footage. Okay. I had to organize the footage, everyone. Um, sorry. But anyways, here we go. Oh, hello, Seagoat. How you doing? Now, if you do attack the creatures on this planet, they will attack you back. Well, I'm talking about the basic life forms, of course, but...
I had to follow the beacon. What's that noise? Jeez, that is a big motherfucker. Hot damn. Guys are huge. <laughs> Ray, no. Okay, I found a crash site. Hot damn. Was it? The Zarians? Sky, more likely. Did you get the artifact? Dug it out of the wreckage. Not a scratch on it. Any enemy activity? Just some Zarian scouts. Of course, now they know we're here. We need to scout out a clearing. Way ahead of you. There's a spot about two clicks away. Perfect for a dropship. There's not gonna be a dropship. What? Going deaf on me, soldier? No, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> We're bringing the Atlantis down. Holy sh... Can you do that? Piece of cake. All right, Marines, look sharp. We're moving out. Stay close, Marshal. We get separate... Shotgun! <laughs> I got me a boner. Uh, God damn it. Why did I say that? Ray, do you know why? Ray? Oh, thank God. Okay. That was hectic. Let's go. Hello, boys. Let's go. I like how one of them has a freaking magnum. <laughs> Reload. Holy shit! <laughs> he just kicked the Assyrian 
in the face! Ow! Ah. 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 that big arm? This is when the crowd pleaser is gonna come in handy. This is where the Atlantis will set down. Secure the area. There are two entrances to the clearing. We gotta cover them both. Vanelli, get between those rocks and set up.
touchdown in five minutes. Huh? Five We're minutes? All set. Patrol the area. <laughs> Damn motherfucking guys are so annoying. Oh no, I hear Scar. Fuck, what's going on back here? <laughs> 
fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I just had my second death. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know, but I do believe the one more time I'm gonna use the god mode <laughs> and kill these fuckers. I think. Fuck me. Okay, guys. I did not even fucking save. Apparently. Fuck. Well, I'm fucked. I am back, everyone. Um... So I'm using the cheats right now. Look at these new guys. He's so cute. You're going to be seeing these in, in uh, pretty soon. <laughs> so these little guys are your protectors right here. The little drones. Little alien drones. Are they wonderful? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I know I can do this legitimately without using the uh, god mode and all that, but this part can be really hard on normal. Or on the Unreal difficulty. Trust me when I say this. It is hard. Oh, uh, look at those fireworks. <laughs> Get wrecked. So, um, yeah, Ray, um, One minute. your thoughts on the matter? The thoughts of having little alien drones as your buddies protecting you? You can also send them to attack the enemy, too. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Like I only have one little guy following me right now. Thirty seconds. Enemy acquired. I don't think these guys are gonna make it over here to me as they keep on getting killed. Uh, it's beautiful. Thirty seconds.
Hey. Should we go for a taxi? Oh yeah. Mission complete. We're on the way. Let's get out of here. Move it, let's go. I do love this game a lot, but it doesn't share the same imp epis what's the word I'm looking for? Um the same nostalgia as the original Unreal, but I do like the story based Unreal games more than the Unreal Tournament games. Though I still do like Unreal Tournament. <clears throat> Which I will bring back Unreal Tournament 2004 if I do fix the fucking issues <laughs> with that game. <laughs> And eventually, I might find some mods to install into the game as well. Problem is, I wish I could get the multiplayer stuff for Unreal Tournament 2004 and the original, and for the first game working. Because I know there is a way. I wouldn't mind by playing with people on the Unreal series, because it would be fun. <laughs> Because I know I probably would probably uh, kill Ray so much. I don't know. I, I, I won't brag or anything. Because I play the games a lot longer. But hey, it'll be a first time for him to kill me in the game. Greetings, Marshal. Greetings. Great piece of flying back there. It is a pleasure to serve you. Docking with the Marine ship looked tricky too. A maneuver I have practicing many times. It was an honor to reunite those men with their fighting unit. Do you have a course plotted? Yes. A place called Hell. <laughs> At least, Ida told me to go to Hell, so that is my plan. <laughs> Where is everybody? Ida is in the briefing room, and Isaac is in the weapons bay. See you later. Telling me. Is this Ida the same Ida who won the Battle of Tycho and brought victory in the Strider Wars? Uh, yes. Although she doesn't like to be reminded of it. She must have been very young in human years. She was. Why is she not a general in your army? She has a little problem with authority. But don't worry, she's working on it. Many pardons, but could we talk later? Hey, Ray, you know who's my, uh, so far, one of the comical favorite characters in this game? Uh, yeah. It's Nibon. He's an alien, but he's pretty funny. When you first meet him in the, uh, like, the tour of the ship of the called the Atlantis, he says, I, I am happy to be battling with you. And then Dalton will say, Buttling? Which Nibon was trying to say serving you as as the new pilot. Hey boss. Ooh, hello. Ready for the loadout? Still working on it. Why don't you get your briefing from Ida first? Okay. Um Guess what guys? Take a wild guess. What's the next place I'm going to next? I'm going to give you 50 seconds. Was that 50 seconds right now, Ray? Okay. It, it, it's a moon, a frozen moon world called Hell. And it's in orbit of a gas giant. So, yeah. Ready for the briefing? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> I do like this world. I do like this planet, to be honest. 
Well, it's not technically a planet, it's a moon. We are second. approaching hell. A frozen moon orbiting the planet Gigan, a gas giant in the Izo star system. Elysium is an Axon Corporation research facility on hell that works closely with the TCA, the organization we also proudly serve. Commander Hawkins says there have been no transmissions from the station for 18 hours. Our mission is to find out why. The base has four research modules located around a central hub. Each of the labs focuses on a different area of weapons research. Here's a look at the surrounding terrain. You'll set down here. This bridge leads into the base. By the way, the commander mentioned the researchers are working on an artifact that sounds a lot like the one we recovered from Sanctuary. You don't suppose they could be related, do you? Do you? That's it. Isaac should have your weapons ready. God knows he's had enough time. <laughs> Still here? What else can you tell me about hell? Gigan is a gas giant planet, about 11 times the diameter of Earth. Hell is one of its 14 moons. Hell's surface is mostly rock covered by spires of ice and slush. The atmosphere is nitrogen and methane along with complex compounds like ethane, hydrogen cyanide and others. Thermal vents spew this poison into the thick, soupy sky and it falls back to the surface as toxic chemical snow. Temperatures average around 250 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Delightful. <laughs> Delightful. What's the short form? Find out why the research facility has gone radio silent. You can take another look at the holograms if you'd like. Why don't you let up on Isaac? Why should I? He killed three of my friends. He's a danger to this ship, and the sooner I can convince you to kick him off, the safer we'll all be. See you later. Damn. <gasps> Got more gear for you. Turns out that energy rifle you nabbed from the Azarians had a limiter on it. Maybe the Scar didn't want to give anything too powerful to their slaves. Anyway, I took the limiter off, and now it's a real weapon. I call it the Shock Lance. The alt fire is an EMP burst that'll fry anything electronic. I've also loaded up the shotgun you found on Sanctuary, and scrounged some toxic grenades for your launcher. You want to take a closer look? Let's see what you got. I modified one of the Azarian energy rifles to make it more powerful. Primary fire generates two plasma bolts that don't do much damage, but the refire rate is high, which lets you put a lot of hits on a target in a short amount of time. Alt fire creates an EMP field that will seriously screw up any machinery it hits. Take your pick. Show me the crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser. This is an M700 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun. Absolutely lethal close up and pretty damn good at mid range. The alt fire puts out explosive incendiary slugs with a wider spread and a more limited range. Anything else? What about the gas grenade? It sprays out a cloud of neurotoxic gas that is so caustic it eats right through metal armor. What'll it be? Some other time. Okay, guys. You'll find out why I'm gonna love this so much right now. The Azarian Shock Lance is pretty good. I won't lie. And there's our first artifact right there. But here we go. Um, hold on. 